most watched show on TV ever. Well, if they're not watching Expresso, they're watching Generations. I seems. know, I know. There are a lot of people on social media that were like, no, I will not watch it. But you know what? Generations has broken its own record. Now, to date, the, 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 the most viewers that averaged was 8.6 million. But when it aired for the first time after its break, 10 million viewers. 10 million Can viewers. Can you believe it? No, that's, you know what, that's a record because like you said, everyone spoke out about how they're not going to do yes. it. Also, I'm told the SABC spokesperson, Kaiser, he said to people, give it a chance. Mm. It's the first time that we're doing it again. Yes. I reckon we should all watch it and then just say what we like. Criticize. I agree with excited, you. Be excited. But hey, more than 10 million viewers, I think you've kind of done that's it. That's amazing. Plus, people are just interested, interested to see the, the new storyline and see those familiar faces back um, on screen again. So I personally love it. Talking about soapies and people that are out, out on our screen, guys, said Chaba from wow. Isidingo is a married man. Congratulations. Married? That's yes. impossible. He got married, and I must say, the two of them looked so loved up and just so, so happy. It's a beautiful and, picture. And um, he posted on Instagram, my wife and I, hashtag Mr. and Mrs. Mafache, hashtag traditional, best day, our, best day of our lives, was a white wedding. Um, and he captioned the snap of the two of them together. So, so happy for him. He is such a great guy. Uh, any Love matrimony him. is amazing, oh. huh? Yeah, we wish you only the best. Well, it seems like uh, they get together and then there's yeah. couples that uh, we speculate separate. Exactly. Yes. Francois Hochart and Chelsea Rue have reportedly broken up. I love the two of them together. She's so pretty. Such a beautiful couple. And the two of them got together um, and, you know, they met last year and they've been smitten ever since. And we've always seen pictures of them on social media just looking like the happiest couple in the world. Let me ask this. I yes. mean, how do we know that they've really broken up? I know that there was a tweet that Chelsea retweeted and I must say this came from some quote that was online. It said, all relationships go through hell. Real ones get through it. And then Chelsea basically retweeted this. Yeah. And then she responded to that. What yeah. did she say in response? She said, psychologically, the more loving you are, the more painful it feels when a person fails to realize how much you care for them. So maybe there's something in there. I don't know. But I I'm like, I just know. don't like when people we love and who look so good together aren't together anymore. You know what? Relationships go through tough times too. Yeah. In fact, I, I bumped to a good friend yesterday and she yes. said to me, Lana, weddings and marriage isn't easy. I and I said to her, okay, well, it's hard today, work. Um, yeah, I'm sure it is. It is hard Not for work. me, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, for some people, for it some just people comes easier. I can't believe you said that. Well, hey, it is a feel good Thursday. We promise that we'll bring you all the highlights of 2014 as to what movies you should have watched. But there's also movies that you should be watching that's coming your way this weekend. We're counting down the best, and we have it first on our feel good breakfast show. I'm talking about the box office top five.